I'm Stefan, and this is Crash Bandicoot. It's a pretty cool game. You know, I like playing it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We're playing some good old Crash Bandicoot. Uh, we'll see how good I am if I'm, a uh, you know, Crash Pro or not. But yeah, here we are. We're gonna play some good old Crash. Um, I thought since the new one was coming out, I thought it'd be a good time to finish up the trilogy, you know? Or do the trilogy, I mean. And we're not doing re- or, sorry, we're not doing the insane trilogy because, like, we've already done that. I did that a couple years ago, you know? And I did do Crash 1 original, original, um, like, back in the day, but that was a bad playthrough, so, you know, that doesn't count. It's, it's like my, uh, phone streams for Jack, you know, I don't count them. Insane Trilogy can count, though, so, yeah. Here we are, this is Crash Bandicoot. Um, this is my first video game. A lot of really cool memories, I gotta say. It's nice to play this again, you know? Um, I got this new thing called RetroArch. That works really well with this, you know? As you could tell, like, it's, like, running marvelously. I haven't had any issues so far whatsoever. Um... I want to try to figure out it, you know, how to resolve the whole black screen issue, but, like, I haven't seemed to figure that out yet, sadly. But, you know, it's all good. I mean, at least I'm able to play it. That's kind of what really matters to moi. Alright, uh, I'm probably not going for 100%, so I'm sorry if, uh, any of you Crash purists out there are really hoping for it, because it's probably not happening. But I'll try. Um, in some levels, if I can, get all the boxes, um... I'm not going to go directly for it, though, because the ending for this, right, um, like, the ending for this, like, in normal is basically the main ending that you want, so, damn it. I wasn't supposed to die, dude. I don't know, I was just so excited to play Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1, dudes. It happens, you know, we all die sometimes. I'm a little bit out of a uh, crash style, so you know I'll have to kind of get back into the flow of things. All right, we're probably not going to get the box gem, but that's okay. I'm not going for them. I want to try to do this though. You ready? Uh, probably not a good idea. Never mind. We're just not going for the boxes. I'm going to go back here and get these boxes because I do need some lives though. So, you know, kind of a good idea, I'd say. Look at that. Hmm. How beautiful of me. Give me all the yummy crates, you fucking bitch. There we go. Nice. I think I'm just a little bit out of the game a bit, you know? I failed in the first level. Let's hope, uh, you know, that's not a recurring problem with Crash. It would be funny if, like, I somehow finished it today. That'd be, that'd be pretty hilarious, I gotta say. Also, hold on a sec. All right, here we go. Now we're good. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, this is Jungle Rollers. All right, no. Yeah. And this level is basically the first jungle level. I, uh... This is probably one of the most memorable levels in gaming for me. You know? It's always the jungle levels. Um, Naughty Dog specifically, like, their whole big thing tends to be jungle levels, you know? So, like... Uh, Crash has had jungle levels, Jack has had some jungle levels, and you know, Uncharted's whole thing is jungles. You know, it's literally in a fucking jungle most of the time. But yeah, um, if you want to know what emulator this is, uh, it's called RetroArch. If you want, like, easy emulation of games like these, um, I would recommend RetroArch. It's really good, you know. Because as you could tell here, I'm, like, perfectly playing through this without any problems so far. Now, of course, I'm probably going to run into some issues emulation-wise. That's always a thing. But, you know, I like to bathe in the success and victory of my perfect emulation, at least for a little while. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? Gotta play to my heart's content and enjoy it. Also, one big difference between this and, uh, Insane Crash is that- Oop, I don't know what that was, I kind of stuttered there. But the big difference between this and the, uh, Insane Trilogy Crash is the fact that this doesn't save unless you do certain minigames, so... You know, the only way you can actually save the game is to do these, uh, kind of poopy Tana minigames. Not really bad, but, you know, I'd rather not do them if I could.
you know, it's like it's like if I had the option to not do them, I'd take it. But you know, that's fine. I need a good amount of lives anyway, so you know, it's a good idea to like just go through these and farm lives if I can. Cause I mean, what else am I gonna do here, right? I just realized I could finish this today if I really tried, cause um, I'm pretty sure this game is that short that I could probably accomplish it. Yeah, let's save game. Hell yeah. Save it for some of the few times I can. Oop, excuse me. Okay, gotta wait for these to go through. My whole problem is, uh, I'm very impatient, you know, and I think that's why I lose in a lot of these levels. Like, you know when those rollers just kind of go together like that? I just run into them, you know? Not a smart strategy, and, you know, the best strategy in this game I've learned, unless it's, like, a constant moving thing that you're stuck on, that you need to jump off of, the key is patience, you know? As, um, obvious as that sounds, it is. Hopefully you don't suffer and crash Bandicoot. We'll see. Uh, welcome, Wild Joe. How's it going? I'll try my best not to suffer, but who knows? I might be a pro. I might suffer. How you doing, Wild Joe? Welcome to my stream, little boy. Do you feel as though I will suffer and crash? Good. Good to hear. Nice. What do you think about these fucking monkeys? You think they're stupid? I say, get out of here, monkeys. You and your stupid bananas. Go back to Ape Escape, the video game. Which I did do a Let's Play on before. Just thought I'd say, guys. Oop. We wait for this thing to do that. There we go. Beautiful. I remember when I was younger, these uh, bouncy platforms were a lot harder. Because I didn't know, right, when you jump on the thing... If you hold down the button, it makes you jump higher. I literally never knew that. So it basically made my experience with, you know, bouncing crates, and this level specifically, just a nightmare, you know? Like, I always hated this level when I was younger, but now that I kind of know how to do it, it's a lot easier. See, that I just did there was probably not smart. I just kind of ran into that. Uh, I'm already failing my own philosophy of going at it slow, because I just want to do it, you know? There we go. Oh, boy. Yeah. Gotta always jump on it. There we go. Beautiful. He's like, please, stop hitting my head. I must defend myself right now. Ooh. Okay. He looks like he has a dress. What? Who? Crash? Or are you talking about the, uh, the block man? He probably does, you know. It's a native tribes dude, so he's probably got some wacky clothes or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, I think that was a dress. If you're talking about Crash, uh, which I don't think you are, I don't know what you're talking about. Those look like blue pants to me, if I've ever saw any. Ooh! No! <laughs> Not Crash. Oh. Gotcha. I understand now. Yep. It's okay. We'll find another spot to save, hopefully. That's at least my hope. Either way, we got through it, so I'm pretty happy. No deaths aside from the uh, all-important bonus round. I, know, I shouldn't worry about getting all the boxes in that, because the bonus round, at least in this version, you don't need all the boxes, you know? And also... Uh, I don't know if you heard before Wild Joe, but I'm not going for them all, you know. I think that that's a little bit too difficult. I might maybe do it in Crash 2 or 3, but, you know, that's still up for debate. I don't know. It's all whatever. Also, if I really wanted to, I could be a cheat and just hit the rewind button, but I'm not going to do that because only filthy cheaters do that. And uh, I hopefully am not one of those. All right, here we go. We gotta run from the boulder, dudes. Hopefully we don't die. Obviously this was taken from Indiana Jones. That one movie with the guy. Uh, 
But yeah, they reference this a lot in uh, other games, like Jack 2 had something like this when we were playing that. If you don't remember, when I was running from the spider. And I think he also ran from a boulder too. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, it's understandable if you don't 100% the first game. Yeah. I might not even do the second or third one. I'm just casually playing these, you know. I'm not the kind of person that usually cares for that, you know. I did in uh, Jack 1 and 2. Oh, boy. <laughs> I did in uh, the first and second Jack, but, you know, now, it's kind of different. I don't really feel like doing all that again. Alright, let's uh, give that another try, I guess. Hopefully, uh, we can actually make it through it. Okay. Shit. The boulder's coming right for me, dude. I gotta fucking run. She used to scare me as a kid. Like, out of all the levels, I hated this one. And I, I'd imagine that's most people who hate the fucking boulder. Because it's garbage. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry about that. I accidentally paused it. Alright. Upstream. I'm making sure, uh... We got, like, the whole screen here, you know? At least I think we do. Hold on. Alright, we're good. I had to make sure that there was enough black bars here real quick. That way, uh, you know, you get the full screen. Because, like, I wanted to try to get the whole screen without it looking super cramped. And I think I did pretty good. You know, we got a little bit of black bars here, but it's expected for an older game. Everybody knows that's what's going to happen when it's a game from, like, 1995 or 96. It's just obvious, you know? You know, even though I can use the analog stick, I keep feeling inclined to use the D-pad, and I don't know why. Like, the analog stick is supposed to be so much better, yet I just continually use it. It's like an addiction, you know? You just can't stop using the D-pad, even when you have something much better. Alright. So this is upstream. It's basically just a lake. Or actually, no, it's a, it's a stream, obviously. It's live streaming Crash Bandicoot. Uh, there we go. Oop. The one thing I do like about Crash that um I hear most people prefer Spyro over it because of this is the fact that it's linear. I actually like that more than Spyro. You know, I like my open games, but you know, sometimes the best kind of platforming is just the straightforward platforming. You know. So I'd say, in that way, Crash, uh, is my favorite. And then for Crash, I'd probably say Warped is my favorite of the three. Ooh, there we go, we got a bonus. I gotta not die this time, because I need to save. I don't just need to save. I need to save, okay? It is a- Ooh! Jesus! That was a clutch. I almost fell off of that. In fact, I don't even know how I made that. Uh, yeah, update, save game. Just save it. I used to always go to the memory card thing instead of just, you know, straight up doing it. Which I shouldn't have done, because, you know, that never works out. Okay. Come on down here, Leaf, please. I don't want to die. I ask this from you to not let me die, pretty please. Can I live, if you please? There we go. Beautiful. Oh. Crash is like, eh, whatever. I had boxes on my head, but, you know, I'm already pretty dumb anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. That's what I bet Crash is saying deep in his heart. Isaacson, Isaac Un 04 is now hosting you. Thank you. I don't think I recognize you. Uh, thank you for the host, person. Oh, oh shit! Oh damn! Now Papu Papu is a pretty simple boss. You just gotta follow one easy strategy, which I'm already failing at, and that is you wait for the man to spin his little staff thing. 
And you let him do that, and then you just jump on his head. Boom. I beat him. Now we got Rolling Stones. Basically the jungle level, but part two. You know, I uh, I tried um, the PS2 emulator on this thing, and um, I gotta say it didn't run very good at all. This is like a lot different though, like this is running perfectly. When I tried the PS2 one, it ran at like, uh, I think two or three FPS. It was really bad. So I would not recommend RetroArch for PS2 games for sure. Damn it! I wanted an Embryo. That's fine. I probably wasn't gonna get it anyways. Cause uh, like I always miss one in this stage specifically. Cause I don't ever remember where it is. Like there's just this one third piece I never get. All right. I, it might have been here, but I'm not going after it now. So that's whatever. I'll just let these bombs blow up. Yeah, so same sort of level, they just kind of made the platforms and challenges a little bit harder, you know, add a little bit of some extra to it, and uh, that's a big thing Crash likes to do, they'll, they'll give you the same exact stage usually, but they'll add tougher stuff to it. Like, Crash 3 did an interesting thing where, like, it would be the same stage, but, like, say for example, one level would be like, say in the daytime, and the other would be at night. I don't know if Crash 2 did that. I, I don't think so. But, you know, at least you're kind of changing the environment up a bit. You know, making it look slightly different. Alright, we got another ton of bonus round. We've been in so many of these bonus rounds, it's crazy. How am I doing this? How am I just beating Crash so quickly? You know? And as I say that, I'm probably going to fail, so... You know, I don't want to jinx myself. That would be a no-no. All right, beautiful. I could save my game again. Oh. Hello? No. Really? You're joking, right? God damn it. Hold on. Can I rewind? I have to, I'm sorry. Uh, There's a rewind button. So we're, we're gonna rewind before we do that uh, stage. Let's see, we'll rewind that much. Damn it. How do I do it? I hit rewind. How much do you want me to rewind, dude? Uh... Maybe, maybe 12. Here we go. 20 frames, dude. Oh, I have to set a rewind button. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening here. I don't get it. And I am mad. Uh, how does that happen? Like, really? Can I, like, go back? Hello? I want to rewind, please. What's the rewind button? Hello? These settings are stupid. You know what? Whatever. We're going to have to restart, I guess. Because I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, Alright, hold on. We're, we're getting RetroArch back real quick because we're having some issues already. Darn it. I hate that. I hate it, and it's bad. See, I get back to streaming, and I'm already having issues. I hate it. Like, what? Is it the emulator, or is it just the game stupid? I don't get it. All right. Let's hope it's saved. Uh, you know, that'd be pretty cool. It should have, but if it didn't, uh, that might be it for the stream. In fact, I might delete it out of shame if uh, it didn't save because this is all a complete waste of time. Okay.
please save. Come on. Okay, load game. Thank goodness. All right, we probably got to redo the Papu Papu, but that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Whatevs. At least I got my game back, so now I know not to do the Tana bonus round because it's bad. Okay, I get it. Oh, I only have four lives. Fuck. Damn it, dude. All right. Whatever, that's fine. One little redo won't hurt. It's kind of shitty, but, you know, it's all good. I'll live. I mean, it's just jumping on the guy until he dies, so it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Lesson learned. Don't trust the Tana bonus round in that level. Hopefully it's just that level where that problem, uh, you know, occurs, because I, I don't want that to happen again. Very bad issue. Now we're back. We are back, everybody. Hopefully without any issues. One would only hope, though. You know? These emulators are pretty crazy. Uh, I'm not touching that. Some boxes I'm gonna avoid, because I don't want Tana. Tana is bad. Very bad. Everybody must know this to the heavens. That this is the case. Alright, checkpoint. Good, good. I like that. Alright. That was a big risk, but I did it. Sometimes it takes a risk to win, you know? You don't win if you don't risk it. Checkpoint of Rooney? Although, if I really need to, I can always save state it, you know? Maybe I just don't need the Tana saves, that's all. We're doing good now. We're, we're back on track. Just a minor little nuisance. Yeah, uh, as I was talking about, uh, oh, okay, we already got one, but I, I think that was supposed to be the third one. Now we're, now I think we're caught up here. Yeah, good. Because I don't recognize, like, this section from my playthrough. I recognize it because I played this, like, 50 bazillion times, but I don't recognize it. Yeah, there we go. We just had a slight issue, and we got past it in the end. Good for me, I say. I say to the heavens that I am a pro at this emulation stuff. Yeah, but probably no... Wait, how's this look? Is this emulating good? I gotta make sure, again. Oop. Oh, froze, hold on. Oh, and we're looking good, guys. I'm making sure I'm sorry. I'm really not trying to do it, but... Uh... Alright, yeah. Yeah, good. It didn't change it too much. I'm happy. Oh, it's the best level hog wild, dude. I gotta say, it's probably my favorite... Well, not my favorite, but it's one of my uh, favorite riding levels in the Crash games. Whole Hog, on the other hand, is pretty bad, though. Uh, yeah, I don't like to play that. But luckily, I think that's like an extra... What has happened? Really? Okay, so, you see, now it decides that it wants to lag. It says, haha, you know, fuck you. Now we're gonna start lagging again. And I don't know why, you know, it thinks it's funny, because it, like, lags, but I don't get it. That's fine, though. I think it was just like a slight issue we had with uh, the emulator. See, look, now we're good. That's just what happens. You kind of got to expect uh, really the unexpected because, you know, emulators are crazy. Like what happened with my save thing, um, that's probably like an emulator problem, you know. Oop, okay. Oh, oh, there we go. I correctly remembered what it was. Oh my god, I did it. What now? Native Fortress? Cool. Epic. Probably not gonna- Oh no. Don't make me do Tana bonus round here, too. 
If we get another glitch, I'm gonna probably end the part. Because I don't like glitches. Um, I don't think we're gonna do the whole game today. We might, depending on, uh, you know, if I do really good here. But we'll have to see, you know? And we all know seeing is believing, right? Oop. The fire burns me. I do not like this. Okay. I don't know why it's lagging so bad on your end, guys. Like, it looks fine on my end, but on your end, it's like running so poop. I don't know what the deal with that is. And I, I can't do anything. Stop running bad! Can something run good for once? Jesus, I'm not playing a stupid PS4 game. I don't care. I will play Crash. I will say, hey, I'm Crash. And then I'll die. Not literally, but in the Crash sense I will. Damn it! See, it's when I get frustrated that I rush it. I gotta not be frustrated. I have to be one with the bandicoot. I'm afraid it's the only way I can solve this issue. Alright. So we're back to doing the jump in here. There we go. Nice. So you guys know how I said I didn't mind uh, the first, you know, native level? This one I'm not a big fan of. You know, it's one of those long gauntlet levels, and uh, each island kind of has that. Like, this is the big, long, sort of gauntlet level for this one, or for the first island. And then the second one has, uh, I think, Sunset Vista, which is even worse than this, you know? Like, it's actually bad. Okay. Oh, I can't get the life? Oh, no, I can. Okay. Fucking bastards thought they can get me, huh? Well, they couldn't. I proved them wrong by dying. Hold on. Hold on. Let me turn off Twitch. Get out of here. Twitch. Sorry. Hold on. There we go. Now we're good. Now I can just straight up see the thing without looking at the poopy stream. Which probably runs poorly. Okay. Like, it, sometimes it's not even the emulator, if you guys notice. Like, it's mostly just the, you know, streaming itself sometimes. And it doesn't make sense, because, like, it's running so good. I don't know why, you know, the feedback from the stream is, let's run, you know, at a poor FPS. I don't get it. It almost got me. It was close, but not close enough. Ooh! I bounced. No one makes me bounce. Never! Ooh, shit. I keep clutching it. That's the real art of Crash Bandicoot, is just constantly clutching the game. That's how you know it's a true Crash Let's Play experience, when you do that. Okay. Give me your worst little piston thing. Oh! Uh, well, the monkey did, but not the piston. Or not, that's not a piston. What, what is that? Like a rod? It's a spike rod, that's what it is. See, I know stuff. I'm smart. I know how Crash works. Because Crash is my father. Sorry, hold on. Hold on again. Alright. I'm just I need to view it. Like I need to make sure it's running good. I have to. It's a requirement. Oh, alright. Uh, please work this time, bonus round. Don't crash on me this time. That'd really be awesome. Oop. Got an extra life from that. That was pretty cool. 
Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, save. Why couldn't it just let me straight up save? That would have been better. Whatever. I still saved, so I'm pretty happy. I don't have to use like a save state or something. Oh, they're going away now. Shit. Shit, fuck. Alright. I don't know how I got through these without the, uh, you know, hold down the X button boost that I use. Like, I have no idea. Because I could have never done it today if I had that. Or if I didn't have that, you know. Which uh, might be a bad sign, you know. Might mean that I'm getting a little rusty. Probably because I don't play Crash Bandicoot that much anymore. It's a sad fact, but it's true. Ugh, get away from me! Alright, wonderful. There's a side path back there, but I don't feel like trying that. Because I feel like if I do try it, I am going to die. Like, it's 100% confirmed that that's going to happen. Oh. Come on. Spit out your fire. Ooh. Shit. So close. It makes me feel tense every time I play this game. It's a natural emotion for Crash. Also, I think we're close to the end. Uh, I know there's like one like really fucked up section that they're going to make me do in a second. But luckily, we're not quite there yet. Oh, here it is. It's close to here. Woo! I'm rushing it. I gotta stop. Too much of a rushaholic at this. Okay, got the got the little plant thing. Uh. Oh, what the fuck is that? That was the section I was thinking of. Yeah, it was really bad. All right, that's fine. We can give it a second go. Listen. I know it's not second tries a charm, but second tries at least okay. And nope, second tries worse. I lied to myself. Hi, why could you lie to me, Devin? How could you? Okay. Let that do its thing. Uh, I gotta wait. That's what I gotta do. Cause like, there's a point where they both do it at the same time, like right there. All right, good. I won. Or maybe not. Oh, nope, I won. Cool. I knew I'd win. With the power of bandicoots on my side, I knew everything would work out in the end. Ooh, okay. It's this one. Ooh! How'd I do that? Alright, I can't die from this point on because, like, I can't redo that section. I, like, that was a complete luck that you guys just saw there. I know I don't want the thing to go away, but I gotta get these lives. It's pretty important, I'd say. Alright, cool. Gotta bounce up. Do a bounce! Oop, oop, and then fall. Fall all the way down to the ground again. Alright, that's fine. At least it's not certain death fall. It's more like, uh, gotta redo everything fall. Which is pretty close to that, but not quite. Because I don't have to do fire thing, which is good. Oh, but I can see, I can hear it. It's right there. Okay. Awesome. We had a little bit of setbacks, but we mostly got through it at least. Now we're at the second island. You know, if I give it like a two hour or a three hour stream, I might be able to finish it in one video. I don't know. 
I, I might want to try that, you know, because I've never played all of Crash 1 in one big stream. I think it would be kind of cool to see if I could do it. I don't think I could, but hey, you know, I can always try. Nothing hurts in doing that, right? If I think I'm gamer enough, I should do it. And you know what? I kind of think I am gamer enough in the end. Stupid monkey! You made me look bad! Get out of here! I'm sorry. I have to quit the whole Devin being patient route because I want to run through it, you know? I'm hyped up. I'm excited. It's almost going to be like it's a Crash Bandicoot speedrun, but not really. Because I'm not actually doing weird glitches to speedrun the game. That's what most speedruns have become, you know? You think of a speedrun as just running through the game, but... It more or less, you know, becomes just glitching the game to do it. Like, I was seeing some Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal speedruns. And it really is crazy what some people can do, you know, when they speedrun games like that. Like, it's crazy! I, although I don't think I've seen a, a Crash Bandicoot speedrun, to be honest. I never have, as far as I know. Oh, I'm probably gonna get eaten. Ooh! I almost got eaten. It was pretty close. Ooh. These lily pads will save me from death. They will stop the pain. <laughs> Alright, it's bonus round time, dude. And, uh, I'm not going for all the boxes, because that's very unsafe. If they made you get all the boxes here, like, 100%ing the game would actually be impossible, you know? Because, like, there's one box placement, uh, in one of the bonus rounds that's just hard to figure out, you know? Luckily, in the Insane Trilogy, where they do require you to do it, which sucks, at least they make it to where you could redo it, like, uh, you know, the Crash 2 and Crash 3 bonus rounds, which I really respect. I'm happy that they at least kind of added that to make it, you know, a little less bad in the end. Okay, I'll let you do your little chomp thing. Thank you. Ooh! And we did it! I like that. We got the bonus round done, and literally right after that, we made it to the end. It feels like luck is on my side, if anything. Ripperoo. He's one of my favorite characters. He's like a crazy little dog man that's uh, got some mental problems, as you could tell from his face and everything about him. All right. So basically, uh, you know, jump on the TNT and blow him up. Oh, that got him. All right, where's he? Where's he jump to? Where you go, Ripperoo? So he goes there, which is good. That's kind of the location I wanted to be at. Perfect. He's already almost dead. Might be able to get him right here. Where's he jump to this time, though? Alright, so he still jumps there. That's good. Jesus, that was so much easier than I remember. Like, really? Dude, like, the times I've tried this, it used to take me, like, five to ten tries the you know first time I played this um, on my YouTube because I remember I think I remember clearly enough that I might have had to look up a YouTube video just to get to it that's right I was that bad at the game that I had to look up a YouTube guide I know I'm such a noob it's true I wish I was a crash pro but I wasn't in I think it was 2015 when I did that so Man, that's crazy. That means it's been five years since I've, uh, played that. Or played the original, original Crash on YouTube. It really just goes to show how long I've been on YouTube. In fact, um, it actually became my six-year anniversary recently. Which I'm very happy about, you know? And even though I stream on Twitch, I, uh, I still upload these to YouTube. As the YouTube people watching later will probably know. So, you know... 
I kind of value the amount of time I have on YouTube more than Twitch, because Twitch is, um... It's basically just to stream, you know, because the streams go away on Twitch. On YouTube, uh, you know, it's good to upload the YouTube, the Twitch stuff to YouTube because the Twitch stuff isn't there forever. They eventually disappear, so YouTube's kind of a good way to archive the old stuff, and you can remember all the videos you did on these games, you know? Get it! Awesome. I got it. I did it. Me. All me. By myself. Okay, shooting out the bats again. Kind of expected of him. Okay. Man, this might be a perfect playthrough if I can get through this whole game just like that, you know? If I could do that, that'd be really awesome, you know? I'd be very proud of myself. Again, uh, I don't think I will, because by the third island, and at least by uh, Sunset Vista, it's going to start becoming, like, an actual struggle to get through. Trust me, it's going to happen. Like, right now, I'm still at the easy point. I'm still doing good, because we're not at the super hard stuff yet. Okay. Gotta wait for that. That's how you do it. Oh, boy. That is not how you do it. You do not fall. You wait for the platforms to pop out, and then you jump. This is how it works in Crash's world. It is the magnificent checkpoint. Checkpoint of greatness. I gotta say, the checkpoint makes me hard. Like, I'm so horny for it. I say, oh my god, yes! Checkpoint! Get to in my pee pee. I can't believe I gained all those lives back. I thought I was going to be stuck at, like, 9 by now, you know? Although that's probably, you know, that's probably happened before because I died so much, you know? It's a common trend. You kind of realize that you're actually pretty okay at this. And I shouldn't have said that, because now I'm going to die. That's what happens. Um, When I'm thinking I'm doing bad, I do really good. When I'm thinking I do really good, I do bad. It's like an opposite effect, so, you know... Maybe I should start becoming hopeless and saying, Man, I can't do this. Oh. And right as I say that, I actually die. So, uh, my whole point just got disproven. Alright. Well, then I gotta brag the whole time. I gotta say, man, I'm so awesome at Crash. Everybody else are noobs. No one can defeat me at Crash. Ooh. It's a tough pattern to recognize. Well, not really, but, you know, it's a little bit annoying to recognize the pattern here. Ooh! Also, I will be doing, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. That's the main reason why I'm doing, uh, all three of the original trilogy games. I know I should be doing the Insane trilogy, but fuck that. Old school. I hate these fucking bats. They're like the worst thing in this game. One of the worst. There, there's a lot of worse, but I'd say the bats are up there, at least. In that category. Okay. So it kind of does that. Whoa! So I gotta wait when all three of them kind of disappear. There we go! Okay. Do they do the same thing? Like, do they all disappear at once as well? Ooh! I really had to jump there. Like, I had to stretch that jump very far just to do it. Give me all the wampa. I go... Tasty wampa. In my mouth. I love the music in these games. It's so good. I think the guy that made the um, the Crash music also made the Jack music, which is really awesome. You know what's also awesome? Dying. It's so cool that I have to go all the way back here. So awesome, dude. So cool. Okay. That wasn't too bad. 
I kind of expected to do bad again, but as usual, I proved myself wrong twice. You know, I'm very really surprised that I haven't screamed yet at this game. Normally I do, and I, I do that with a lot of games, but surprisingly I haven't like done a big major scream quite yet. First time in centuries. I just gotta let that thing kind of jump where it wants to, you know? There we go. I'm not worried about the box. Okay. So you kind of want to try to jump on the thing before the bats start going. That's what I'm trying to do here, but it, it's really tough. Okay. Fuck! Like, they don't let you spin the things. That's the worst part about those enemies, you know? And then they make you redo this! Is already a pain. Okay. Just gotta wait for the you know platform to do its thing. Alright, that's fine. We'll get it eventually. It's just gonna take a bit of time. A little bit of time here. Ooh! Epic. Very epic, dude. Oh god. I gotta make this jump count, and I did. See? Look what I did with my eyes. But mostly my hands, because my hands are using the controller. Woo! I'm sorry for the screams, but... Like... I was just ready to die. <laughs> awesome. We're back here. And we're ready to jump. And whomp. Oh boy. That is not what I wanted. I'll let it jump up over here. See, then I could kill it right there. Fuck! Oh. That's really cool. The uh, bonus round made the next checkpoint. Alright. I like that. That means I don't have to go all the way back to those other moving things. But yeah, you want to do it, like, when he's jumping there, because you don't want him to be, like, jumping around everywhere when you're trying to avoid the moving blocks that are here. You never want that. Ooh! Ooh! Free boxes. Taking a big risk here, but that's okay. Uh, if I didn't risk stuff, I probably wouldn't have this many lives, now would I? I'd probably have, like, two or three, because I'd die a lot. Temple Ruins. Awesome. I gotta stop saying that. Why do I keep doing that? I think it's because I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Yeah. It's a it's a common issue I keep having now. I, I don't know what to really talk about anymore, you know? I'm pretty far through this so far. I think we're pretty close to the halfway point, actually. Um, once we get to, like, the middle part of this island, we'd be... I'd say at about the halfway point. So, who knows? We'll see if I feel like continuing on or if I'll end off the part here. Part of me really wants to continue on because I think I can do it, you know? I really think I can. If I just stop fucking dying so much, then I could do it. I could make my, my poppy proud. Say, poppy, please. Please love me. I play Crash and I win it. In the, the Insane Trilogy, those platforms aren't actually floating. Um, I always thought it was funny that they made it like that. Because it, it kind of looks... Like, I don't think it's actually floating, but... You know, due to PS1 graphics, it kind of looks like it is. Like, that looks like it's floating, too. And who knows? It, actually, those probably were floating, now that I think about it. But in the Insane Trilogy, they made it to where they were um, pillars, just like those things are. And, you know, it's good. You know, it's like three generations apart, so you gotta make it... At least a little bit realistic, you know? Okay. Gotta do it right when it's going down like that. Yeah. No! Yeah, 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 I'm dying. Oh, oh. 
I was not ready. We're crutching through it, though. Oh, here's these goddamn bats. They're accursed creatures of the second island, I must say. Are they gone? Whoa! Nope. They were back the whole time. 25? The real question is, can I get to 99? That seems like a long shot, but who knows. Yeah, that'll be a nice goal to achieve, getting all the way up to 99 lives. Okay, wait for the thing to do its thing. Alright, cool. Epic. I'm really feeling it. Is that supposed to be a cobra? Ooh! Oh, wait, no, that's supposed to be a python, I think. I can't tell because it's blue. I'm pretty sure, unless it's like a really odd snake, I don't think I've seen a blue snake before. Well, who knows? I could be wrong. I don't really know much about snakes. Mainly because I hate them. Scary creature. Okay. Oh, there's a mask! I need it! Save me from this wretched level, please. I need you, Mask. You're my only hope. Mm! So you can you can help me against enemies, but you can't help me when I fall. What a big tragedy, I must say. Okay. Alright. I gotta stop over-jumping it. That's what's killing me. So many times. And I'm not gonna let it get to me this time. Ooh. Okay. I don't think that was intended for me to be able to do that, but it worked, so hey. I'll take what I can get. If it means cheating the system, that's how I work. I cheat the system, bro. Oh. Alright. We're almost at 30. Soon we'll have so many lives that I could pretty much die as many times as I want. And, you know, still win. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just enough for 30. Right there, I got three lives. See, it's almost like the game's reading my mind, you know? It heard me talking about getting 30, and it said, You want 30 lives? We'll slap it right in your face, you little boy. And then we'll slap one more for you, because we love you. I made it! Those bats could never stop me. Even though I fear them always popping up, I conquer them. Oh! This is the actual, like, this level and the other road level that we're probably gonna see later are like the worst levels in this game. I hate these levels. Um, they're even worse than the Insane Trilogy, funny enough, because, um, in this, right, when Crash jumps, you can, like, see a little circle around him. Um, in the Insane Trilogy, it's, like, an actual shadow. And it's good. You know, it's more realistic. That's kind of what the Insane Trilogy is kind of going for. It kind of makes this level a lot harder than it is in this in the end, you know? And again, from what I've learned from playing games like Jack 2, it makes me realize that this game really isn't as hard as I remember it at all, actually. I was, like, worried a hog was there or something. Luckily, he was not. Mmm. Sweet lives. That ding is, like, music to my ears whenever I hear to make that sound. Also, when the hog, like, walks behind you, they actually don't come back. I found that out. Like, they just kind of stand there, you know? I don't know if it has to do with the fact that they're, like, out of range of me, so, like, their character doesn't do anything after that. Who knows? I also find it funny that they somehow are able to walk on nothing, you know? Like, where in Naughty Dog's head do they think, yeah, hogs can basically just walk on nothing, you know? It's obvious. Have you not played 
a Crash Bandicoot game. Ugh! Uh, stop, please! Oh, okay. It's so like right here. He's not even gonna come back. You know, did they do that in the Insane Trilogy? I can't remember a lot of stuff from that. Cause like, I like I said, I played this originally in 2015. I played the Insane Trilogy around the time it came out back in 2017, when everything was kind of archaic still. Like that was back when the loading screens were really bad at the time. I remember, you know, they were super long. Um, and also Dingle Dial basically said nothing uh, after he got killed, and then they later added it. Like a year later, and I was like, oh, cool. I, I probably shouldn't have played it when I did then, but. Well, I mean, I would have still played it, but I probably shouldn't have streamed it when I did at that rate. You know, hey, sometimes they fix stuff, and I'm happy they did. I just kind of wish that that was a thing they had before and not later. Oh. This mouse is going to be hard. Oh, never mind. I thought the turtle bounce was a level earlier. I didn't know it was here. But I guess it was. Alright. Also, one fun fact to notice is, uh... If you notice on here, like... That, like, for some reason there's just a bridge sitting there. And it kind of makes no sense, really. It's mainly because the road levels, both, were meant to be in Cortex's area. Like, this wasn't meant to be here, so it looks really odd. Um... They both were actually meant to be, like, in unison in the final island, but I guess they separated them, because, you know, you don't want the same level twice, so they probably separated it because of that. And that's mainly why you see, uh, you know, Cortex's castle in the distance, because in that, you're actually going towards the castle um, in the prototype, and I guess they didn't really change that. Interesting thing to notice, and I know this because I saw a playthrough of the prototype version, and that's how it was. They also had a weird thing where um, the map wasn't 3D. Like, it was a kind of a 2D look to it. And it makes sense, because there's a cartoon cutscene as well. What? What? What am I missing here? Like, I swear I jumped forward. What's going on? Oh. Okay. Maybe I was just being dumb. Who knows? I think that's what it was, because I just got through it. Alright, awesome. It's okay if I'm dumb, as long as I figure out that I made a mistake. Get away from me, Boulder! I don't like you! I don't like you that way, Boulder. Get away from me, please. You're sexually assaulting me, bro. Okay. Very treacherous platforms, I must say. I like the low frame rate? It's pretty cool, right? This happens every five seconds! Epic! I'm getting tiggered by that, didn't you know? Fuck! Stupid. That's what it is. That's what I say to that boulder. I say, you're stupid. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. This isn't fun anymore. Get away! I don't want to play anymore. God fucking damn it! All right, so this is this is the scream at crash section we're having now. It's finally happening. I know, because this boulder always gets close to you no matter what you do. It's stupid. It's dumb, and it's dumb. It runs at five FPS. It's super cool, dude. I love it. Look, see, it's inching closer because they keep pushing the signs right at you. It's really dumb, and I hate it. I'm gonna politely ask you to not. All right, epic. Check. Oh, thank God, checkpoint. I needed that. Else, I was gonna scream even more. But yeah, it's the first moment where I actually screamed at the game. I'm surprised it was this late in the playthrough, though. Yeah. Get away! You're too close. It's too much. It's scary. See how it keeps bouncing? That means it's gonna kill me right away. Stop. Go away, please. You're raping me. That's what this boulder's doing to me, everybody. 
didn't you know? It's basically rape. Especially since I didn't consent to this. I consented to running away. Okay. Epic. Awesome. Alright. I am trying very hard, but it keeps getting closer. And closer. Basically, like, it gets to the point where if you make any mistake, you're dead. You know? So you don't want to make any... Get away! Mm. God fucking damn it. See, the first one wasn't too hard. I don't know what happened to this one. Alright, I'm using the D-pad. That's it. D-pad seems to be the only thing that uh, simplifies it for little old me here. If that even does anything. Like, see how it just, like, bounces like that? That means it's getting closer. You know? So, like, it really gives you a small amount of room to make mistakes. It's really bad. Definitely not recommended. Ugh! Stop! I'm getting angry, like, actually, now. An hour in, first rage moment. There you go, Cloudy. There's your little compilation. If you don't find this video, then you didn't try hard enough for my rage compilation part two, obviously. Because it was right here. Me screaming at a boulder. What, how much better could you get from that, right? Me screaming at a stupid fucking boulder. Get a- Hmm, Crash Bandicoot! What's that about? It's about a stupid fucking orange bandicoot that runs from a stupid fucking boulder that gets closer every time you do it! It's great! It's great, because it keeps bouncing. It says, hey, I'm a boulder, but I do funny bounces. Also, I lag, like a little bitch. Uh, I'm getting mad. I am getting angered. It's all because of these signs, too. You know, that's probably a big reason why. I'm running. I'm avoiding it. It should be gone. It should get out of my face, you know? It should stop being a little bitch. That's what it should do. Because that's all it's being right now is a little fuckhead. Back off! There we go, I hated that. Thank god I finished it. <laughs> For real. Alright, at least we got that done with. We're inching closer and closer, but it is getting a lot- Oh. Yeah, now we're getting to the bad levels. Not the bad levels, but the super hard levels. Uh, I guess that'd be a more accurate thing, you know? Yeah, luckily we got that all worked out. Hold on, sorry. Sorry, quick BRB, I have to do something really quick. Okay, now I'm good. Let's continue on with our crash playthrough, everybody. As I bounce on crates. Only legends do that, right? That's at least what I've heard. So we're an hour in, and we're we're actually two levels away from the final island. Even though this level's probably going to be pretty long, I feel like we can do it. Like, we really can. And this time, I'm not even, like, hesitant to, like, the fact that we might not be able to do it. Because now I know. Like, it's actually... How did I walk up that forward? I didn't do that! Dude, these controls... They're not ready for 3D, or 2.5D, it feels like. I love Crash 1, I always will. It'll always have a special place in my heart, but it's janky as fuck, you know? I think that's pretty obvious from just watching it, that it's definitely ha it, it definitely has its problems, for sure. Well, you know, some masterpieces have to have issues, I suppose, and... I guess this can't really be considered a masterpiece. The other two, on the other hand, are very big masterpieces. And, you know, 
you gotta get done with the okay, and then you play the great. That's how it works on here, at least. Okay. Stupid! How'd that get me? Oh. I, I was a little bit high up on that. Never mind. I thought I was lower. Okay. Similarly to the uh, native levels, this is kind of th like the temple levels are like sort of the native levels in this, you know? Because there's like one early, just like the native level, and then there's one at the end that's like a gauntlet, also like the native levels. Okay. Dear worst. Oh, you can't. Because I'm jumping through all of them. Oh, yeah. Good. So all three just do that? Okay. That works for me. Oh, you can just spin them? That's gonna make it a lot easier for me, okay. I have hope now. But I'm still probably gonna jump on it because I am scared. I'm a scared little kid. I can't do this. I need to go back to my mommy and my daddy. Uh, okay. Now it doesn't work? Are you joking? Are you like, laugh out louding at me right now? Alright, I gotta kill the bats. That's the only way. Like, I could see me doing this. And you know what? That's just what we'll do. I'll kill this dumb bat, and then I'll go for the uh, other one that's also leading them. It's the only way, you know? I can't win at Crash if I don't do that, you know? Ah! Get out of the way! That was stupid. I don't care what anybody says. Like, just that placement is purposely bullshit. Yeah, you're gonna make the fire thing go back right when the vats go. Like, that's like what? A two second window to do that? Who's gonna do that? You know? Well, I mean, I did that, but, like, it was a clutch, so. We'll be. Okay, so, like, I gotta be really quick when he they do it, right? Okay. I get it now. I understand. Like that. Yeah, okay. And then when I kill the other bat, everything's good again. See, because I can kill that and just jump on it, rather than, uh, you know, worrying my ass off trying to spin it. Okay. Alright, so when those two go out, that's when I want to do it. Now it's understood! The only level that I think I'm going to have serious trouble with later is Slippery Climb, because that level is, uh, I'd say it's Satan himself. That's how I would describe it, at least, in just how horrendous it is. That, and there's like one other one that I really don't like, called The Lab. Um, The Lab's probably super easy, too, but I remember it being like one of the worst levels in the game, because I had to do it so many times. Mainly because, like, when, when, like, the game finishes, um, if you don't have all the gems, it actually doesn't save, like, at the Cortex part when you beat him. For some dumb reason. Um, so, like, it always saves you back at the lab. So, like, if I ever want to fight Cortex again, I have to finish the lab. Like, it's a requirement, you know? I just never got why it was, you know? It just didn't make too much sense to me, is all. That's how I would describe it. This time I kind of gotta, I gotta be patient. I'm, ah, uh, like I was saying, I gotta not go super fast, cause that's what kills me. Okay, wait for the platform to go up, then jump on that. Beautiful. I'm really doing it, guys. 
guys, look at me. I'm winning at a video game. Oh my god. I hope I get an award or something. Okay. Mmm. Stop. You are making me lose with your slowness to slide open. Epic. All right. Okay. Ooh! I hate it. I hate this level. I hate it. I hate it. I say that clearly through my mouth that I hate it. It is truly a bad level. Anybody who likes it is probably stupid. Sorry to say, but it's true. Ugh. What is this? Like, terrible checkpoint system too. They make you go fast, like, they make you worry, and then you gotta, you gotta jump it. I don't know what I'm saying. Help. I'm ranting, but I don't uh, know how to explain my rant. It's okay. I think uh, just looking at it yourself kind of explains it already. That's fine though, it's okay. A little bit of rage doesn't hurt you all the time. It just means you get more for a rage compilation, obviously. Okay. Let it fall. Okay. That's how you gotta do it. That's how you win. Oh, checkpoint. Epic. Uh... Okay, I see how that works. So I'd want to do that. Like, so when both of the platforms are gone, that's when I jump. Huh. I okay, I get it now. I think. Okay. I got it. Holy crap! I don't know how I did it, but somehow I figured it out. We even got a mask, too! Holy moly, that's epic. Awesome. Mm. Crash! You dumb fuck! See what I said? I said it was coming! You know? Nobody believed me, but... It happened. Okay. okay. Come on. You can go away now. It's all about patience with this game. A thing that they uh, they stopped doing around the second and third one. So right here. That's when you want to do it. Okay. Like you really got to time it. That's the uh, annoying part about it. I'm just impatient, you know? I can't really blame the game for my failures, because that's basically just my failures. Okay. See, because here, you know, it's easy to do. You know, I just like to get shit done fast! Oh, boy! Okay. Note to self, kill the bats next time. That seems to be what helps me. Gotta wait, and hope for the best, you know? That's all, just that's just all you can do to win at Crash. Alright, now I know what to do, so I gotta kill the two bats on those sides. That way... Damn it! I lost my mask! Oh, shit. I, I remember where the bats were, right? Right? Oh, okay. I can still do it. And once I get there, that's when I spin it. I say, fuck you, bitch! See? And now the bats are gone forever. 
and everybody is happy again. Ooh. We're also nearing the end of this, I believe. Like, how long have we been doing this? Like, 15 minutes we've been on this level almost? It's been pretty close if it hasn't been 15 minutes. Ooh. Okay. Not, not smart of me. I will admit. Okay, there we go. At least, if anything, I got a nice nifty checkpoint. And a mask to boot. That's all you really need in life sometimes, you know? When you feel like, you know, you're having health problems and you're gonna die, you just need a mask. You know, that way, if something happens to you, you still come back to life, you know? It's still good in the end. Oh, you can see uh, Cortex Castle from here. That's kind of cool. I like that attention to detail that this game kind of has, that they let you, uh, you know, see locations that are so far away. It kind of adds to the environment. Good thing, too, is that I think aside from the Jars of Darkness, which is the other level, this is one of the last times we'll have to deal with the stupid bat. Is that a Cortex token? You don't see those very often. I gotta try to get that. Oh, not a good idea, though. And also, we're probably not gonna get all the Cortex tokens, because I haven't seen any other Cortex tokens out there, to be honest. Whoa. Thank God for checkpoints. It's the only saving grace here. So we're back to 30-something. That's good. We kind of caught up with uh, what we lost before. Oof. All right. I'm not going for that life. That's too risky. I'm just going through what I need to go through without, you know, dying here. Oh, it's a third bonus round. All right. That way, uh... If I happen to want to end here, at least I could save it, like, at this point, rather than, you know, just go through everything and all that junk. Hey, Tana, thanks for the two lives, furry lady. I really appreciate it. So, so, so sunset v Vista. That's the level I'm playing right now. Oh, my God. How'd they know? Wait, this feels just like that other section in the same level that I was doing. Oh, wait, no, it's slightly different. Like, it looked like that part again, but I guess they at least changed stuff slightly up. Oop. Give me a second to read that. Hold on. Let me get through this, like, really hectic section, and then I'll... Alright, here we go. I'll read your thing now. Uh, yo, mate, keep it up. I'm on the same grind. Uh, ten away from affiliate. If you could help me out with a follow back... I'll have to check out your content before I do something like that, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll check out your content first, because, you see, I don't like to follow people before until I check out their content, so... Uh, I'll, I'll check out your content, and if I like it, I'll follow you. Uh, when's the next time you're streaming? I'll see if I can check that out, then. We could see how your crash skills are. Uh, Captain Breezy 303 Oh! Oh, wait, no, I thought you were saying, like, you were also playing Crash. At least I think so. Oh, Koala Kong. I wonder what that's a parody of, guys. You know, I really don't know what it's trying to parody at all. It's him! That giant koala! With his big fluffy ears! He's so beautiful, I gotta say. Like, I don't normally say this about animals, but koalas are pretty cool. And I believe koalas are also very Australian, too. Kind of fitting, since uh, this actually takes place in Australia. What? Oh, I had to probably move the boulder thing, or the rock thing, I mean, 
to get him. That's fine. It's all about strategy. You just kind of got to let him do his thing. Then, then, boom! Epic. That's how you win it, you know? If you don't know his strategy, you're probably going to lose. Okay. Look at him stretching his muscles. Trying to show that he's a cool boy when he, he really isn't. Oh. Alright. At least I got back my uh, other masks. That's all that really matters in the end. What's up with the music? It's kind of glitchy. You guys hear that? I love RetroArch, but it, it definitely seems a little bit more glitchy than, uh, you know, EPSXE. It's better for me, like, in terms of controls, at least, because, you know, I don't have to set everything up every time I do a stream, you know? So it's a lot nicer in that way, because, like, it's just an easier setup. It's crazy, too, because, like, they have a download thing. Uh, I think it's called Cores, where, like, you can basically just download all the emulators in, like, five seconds. It's crazy how fast it actually is. Because, like, it just gets done super quick. Very quick and very efficient. That's how I would say it is. Okay. Ooh. Damn it! Alright. He's got one more life left. I just gotta try to avoid the bombs as best as possible. That's going to be easier uh, said than done. Mm. It's fine. We got it. It sometimes just takes a bit of tries to figure it all out, you know? What I got to do is I got to try to, like, keep both of my masks for as long as possible, you know? Without getting hit, so... We'll try our best to make this a no-hit uh, Koala Kong run if we can. Easier said than done, but we can try. If we believe in ourselves, and in the true power of teamwork, we can do it! Okay. Alright, we're doing good. I don't want to get cocky, but so far, I'm pretty proud of myself. I love myself, because I'm a narcissist. Let him throw his little rock. Little pussy. I beat you. And you lose. Now where's this next one? Oh, that's a bad spot. Okay. I just gotta wait for the minecart to get out of the way. And then I can hit him. Alright, cool. Practice makes perfect. Sometimes you gotta kind of do it a little more than once to really, you know, get it. All right, heavy machinery. These are this is one of the levels I really like. Uh, it's very memorable, I have to say. I love heavy machinery. Sorry, hold on. Hold on a flippity second. Oop. All right. Now we're back. I like the look of it more than the, uh, oh, uh, the third island in general. It kind of, it has a better feel to it, uh, with these older graphics, I think. I don't know. There's one level in particular that they kind of fucked up, uh, called Generator Room, where it's like a creepy cortex just staring at you. I really like that one. And I, I was kind of sad that they, uh, like they made cortex less creepy looking in it. And then they made the music just normal sounding, you know. I know it sounds like I'm being picky, and honestly, I probably am. But I don't know. It just it just didn't have that same feel to me. And that's coming from somebody who uh, likes a lot of the um, redos they've done in the Insane trilogy. Crash one especially, you know, because like they added certain things that made it easier. Crash two also in the Insane Trilogy added stuff like, I think, the run for the time trials and junk, and uh, let me tell you, it makes it a lot easier. Especially on the boulder sections, you know? I was able to easily get through that. I 
And that robot, like, when I was younger, I couldn't tell that that was a robot. Mainly because of the, you know, graphics on shit. I miss that. Whatever. It's not like I needed an extra life or anything. I got, like, 34. I'm gonna eat that when we get to Slippery Climb, but for now, while I can, I'm gonna heavily brag about it. Oh. Me no likey. Alright, checkpoint. My saving grace, as always. Ooh. Again, as always, want to skip the boxes. Especially here, because that, that is actually scary looking. Oh boy. Thank you, my bandicoot girlfriend. I'm out of here now. Bye. You know, they never explained it. Like, she's supposed to be Crash's girlfriend, right? Like, he's supposed to save her? And they explain it in the end scene trilogy. Like, Cortex grabs her up again or whatever. Like, at the end. It doesn't really make sense, because, like, in this, she's just there, you know? Like, you'd think Crash would just say, Hey, girlfriend, nah, I saved you. That's it for the game. It would make it short, but you would think... You know, if he was smart, he probably would have just, like, said, Hey, I saved you. Now I don't need to go all the way up through the castle to save you. But! Okay. I have a small amount of room to platform there, so I gotta kinda... Kinda choose wisely how I do my jumps here. For sure. Okay. Ooh! Alright, epic. We did it. Guys like those whistle sounds that go pew, pew. It's super amazing. I think that Captain Breezy person was a bot, actually, now that I think about it. You see a lot of those on Twitch, but you know. We're not going back to YouTube, Devin. That was Devin who would say, yeah, I'll accept it. Nope. It's a bot, probably, and I knew it. Because, I mean, like, if it was an actual viewer, you know, that person probably would have stuck around. It doesn't really make sense. Just, like, come on a stream and just randomly comment that. I just not, like, I, I kind of thought that, but, like, you know, I was thinking about it while I was slightly quiet that, you know, that's probably a bot, obviously. I know it's a Brio. I'm not going for that. I don't want it. And it can get out of my face, for all I care. Oop. Give me all the wampa, I need them. I need them, and I need them bad. Wait, no! I want them! Don't let me jump away from them! Those are my dreams! My dream is to get a gazillion amount of lives! That's what I thrive for. Oh, wait. Yeah, right there. 38, baby. Now we're reaching the 40 mark in terms of lives. Not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome. Cortex power. This one's weird. Um, It's an easy stage if you're just playing it like normally. If you're playing it for 100%, which I'm not going for because I'd never be able to do it. Um, if you're going for 100%, this level's super hard. But, like, if you're just playing it casually like I am, it's pretty simple. You know, you just kind of got to get to the end. Uh, when you 100% it, you actually got to go back a bit of times, like, through some of the pathways. And it's, I don't know, it's just not worth it unless you want to get the secret ending, which has nothing to do with, uh, like, the plot of Crash 2. At least Crash 2 and 3, like, their secret endings coincide with the you know the future ones crash ones doesn't like the only ending that coincides with crash 2 is the normal one when you just regularly beat cortex so you know i'm just going for that because that's what brings you into crash 2 whether i want to present the second and third one still thinking about that i kind of wanna but i don't think i can all right 
Just let them do their thing. See? Now, now I can't run in epically because I don't have an invincibility anymore. I mean, I could try to run epically, but it doesn't work out. Oh, I didn't try this area. Oh, I looked through here real quick. Oh, God! It's a polygon weasel. With a machine gun, too. Never got why uh, Spyro, the remake, couldn't have actual guns. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like They changed the guns in one level to goo guns. Even though the Insane Trilogy used actual guns. Like, was there a real good reason to even do that? I just don't understand the idea behind it. They could have still used the real guns. It would have been super epic. But I guess, uh, you know, parents would have had a fit. They would have been like, my, there's somebody using a gun in a kid's game? I can't have my kids playing that. We have to sue the developers. Because, you know, fuck fun. You know, at least it still kind of does the same thing. You know, if they, like, changed the whole level, that would have sucked. But, you know, the whole, like, use of them was kind of the same. So, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. I just thought it was weird because, like, the Insane Trilogy kept the actual guns that were in it. So I don't know why they had to go in and change that. Mm. You stupid floating thing! I had to choke you, and then watch you scream. I say, ha ha, you stupid fucking floating thing. Get out of my face. All right, wait for them to do the thing, and then just run for it. That's all you can do. It's just run. That's all Crash ever does. He runs. He runs from America! Why does Crash hate America? I'll never know. No, get... Get it. Ooh, uh... So? Oh, okay. I didn't think I'd be able to do that, but I accomplished it. Epic. We're gonna finish this today. I'm I'm calling it now. It is absolutely possible. We're on the third island. The most it's probably gonna take is maybe another hour. And the most it'll take. Like, it might not even take that, so... Yeah, we'll end it before three hours, which will be really cool. That way we can get on to, you know, better crash. I love the- oh, also, look at this creepy cortex and the creepy music. You know? It makes you wonder, did they, like, intend for this to be creepy originally? Because, like, I, I still don't know why they changed that in the remake. Because, like, it has a nice feel to it that kind of went away with the Insane trilogy. Like, look at that! That's like the face of nightmares. I never got nightmares from it, but it spooked me. It made me say, "Uh, I don't like that cortex. I'm gonna run away now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away from home, and then I'm going to spin like Crash." But no, by run I mean like I'm gonna run through the level more. Okay. Uh, kind of odd to figure this one out. The big difference between, like, the main three is, like, Crash 1 is, like, more tight, precise platforming. Like, you really gotta, like, get the platforms, you know what I mean? And the second and third one, like, they have a slide, which, it's, like, makes everything so much easier. Because here, you just have the jump. And the second and third one, you have a slide that basically helps you. It makes the situation much easier than, you know, it could have been without it. And Crash 1's a testament to how, you know, difficult it is without something like a slide. It's kind of a good thing, like, the Insane Trilogy didn't add the slide, because that probably would have ruined it a bit. Because, I mean, if you take away the I mean, if you add the slide, it kind of takes away the difficulty aspect of it. And, you know, Crash 1, a lot more over the second and third one, is known for its difficulty, you know? Whoa! Whoa! I'm gonna fu- Didn't even let me finish it. That's how quick I died. What have I got? Okay. What have I got? 
That's okay, though. Like, I'm not worried about saving, especially since I have a ton of lives, and I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna have to do a second run of this, hopefully. We're doing it today, you know? If it takes me until, like, 5 a.m., I'll do it, you know? I'm finishing Crash 1 in one video. I will achieve the epic goal. And we might even be able to do it around the two-hour point, you know? I don't normally stream for two hours, but, hey, if I got extended a little bit for Crash, I'll do it, you know? It'll be a nice little fun thing. At least I think so. I, it, it's it's something I kind of need to do, because, like, I haven't been streaming in so long, so, you know. I, not that I owe it to you guys or anything, but, you know, I kind of feel like I should do, like, you know, a longer stream than usual. Just to kind of show that I really am back, and that uh, Crash 2 and 3 might take a couple days. You know, that way you guys get your good amount of Crash content before I, uh, you know, rest for a few more days. Nice thing about Twitch streams, too. Um, like, I don't have to stream on that day. Because, like, I already have streams pre-prepared. Like, uh, the Plub Returns. I haven't actually posted that on my YouTube yet. At this point. That I'm streaming this, right? Um, and then there's an Uncharted stream I did earlier today. Um, and I was expecting that to be the stream for today. But, I don't know. I just had the itch to do Crash because I wasn't doing anything. You know? I was kind of bored. I was sitting in my game room. I was saying, man, I really want to stream a game. Why not stream Crash? Because I got this, uh, you know, this emulator working. You know, why not try it? By the way, I didn't try Ape Escape on the uh, other emulator. When I played that, that was EPSXE. Which, uh, if you guys don't remember, we had a little bit of issues with it where, um... Like, sometimes it would, like, the audio would die, and then, like, the whole game would stop working. Like, it would go super slow. So far, we haven't had that problem in this. I don't know if, if it will happen, or if it's even a possibility. But if it is, uh, I'll see what I could do to not let it happen. What? No, that was me being stupid. That's okay. I made a oopsie. You know, we can always make it back there again, of course. I'm going too fast. I'm too excited to finish this, you know? I gotta I gotta kinda slow down a bit. I gotta slow down, Buster, cause I am not doing too good anymore. Alright. It's like right here. You gotta like cause like unlike some games or like when you're jumping, like you kinda jump and seek with the platform, you have to move forward a little bit, because if you don't, like when you're jumping here, you you miss the platform. You know, you have to jump forward slightly, like right here. Luckily, my main mess up was just touching the wall. Uh, I'm going to try not to do that again. And there we go. That was Pinstripe, by the way, that you saw on that door. He's a pretty cool character. He's a, he's like a suit man. You know, he's got a little red suit and a little machine gun thing. All right, actually, I think it's a Tommy gun. I don't know. But it's it's pretty cool looking. I like how you can't see their feet. Like, from what I'm seeing, it looks like they have no feet at all at the moment. Alright. Throw your little barrel. I'm ready. I'm ready Freddy for Crash Bandicoot. Okay. Oh yeah, Tana. I'm gonna need a Tana since I died on that last round. Or wait, did I? Yeah, yeah I did. I remember now. Yeah, I'm gonna need one then. Luckily, this is uh, the most linear of all the stages because you're literally just walking in a straight line. There's nothing else to it. I'm bound to get another Tana. As long as I just look around a bit. You know, with my eyes, not even with moving. Like, I'll probably just see like a question mark crate and that'll be the Tana thing. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Like right here, that's probably a Tana token. Yep, see? I knew it. And with the Tana token, is a life. That's all I could have ever asked for in this world. Alright. I'm ready. They're, like, the bouncing crates are going to come very soon. I'm ready for it. Yep, there it is. 
Those are the worst crates in this, by the way. I hate them. Cause like you have to, you have to really uh, time it. <laughs> Sorry, my throat's like really runny, or my nose is. I mean. I'll be right back, everybody. Hold on. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm back. Apologies. Oh. No! No! You can't do that to me! Not responding! What? Are you joking? Now you don't want to run? Now you want to be a fucking stupid? Are you... I'm gonna wait for it to respawn. Okay, we'll, we'll give it. We'll give it a few seconds. Stupid, dumb, fucking laptop. Why does this happen? I didn't. Si Ugh. Close the program. Why not? Why does that happen? Fucking retro arc. More like retro dumb. Really? Now I gotta redo a whole level. And that's gonna be super fun. Alright. Epic. I'm probably gonna have to do, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Cortex. No, Heavy Machinery. I'm gonna have to redo Cortex Power and the other one now. Because this game said, hey, you know, you want us to crash? Well, there you go. We crash bandicooted. I said, ha ha ha. <laughs> We're stupid. There's only gonna be a problem in Crash 1. Crash 2 and 3 have a really awesome save feature. So if we ever get in that kind of pickle again, we luckily are able to get out of it pretty quick if we, you know, really try. Uh, well, let's see how big of an extent the damages were. I know we're probably gonna have to do uh, Cortex Power. Oh, you know, sorry. Uh, I know we're, we're gonna have to do the one with the creepy Cortex face generator room. Might have to redo Cortex Power. I don't want to redo Cortex Power, but that's a big possibility. Who knows? No! I hate this emulator. You know? I really do. I don't even want to finish this now. I'm angry. Uh, we're not responding because we don't know how to run. We're stupid. Gotta redo three whole fucking levels. Three levels! That's super awesome! Super epic, Crash! Epic gamer moment right here, you know? Epic gamer moment! I have two lives. I can't... Ah, yeah! Crash! Welp. It's time to use a cheat code, guys. It's official. I'm angry. So I'm going to cheat the game now. Let's see what cheat codes we got. Because I'm not redoing all those levels. That was three whole levels. You know? I can't help it that it doesn't want to save. Alright. Crash Bandicoot. Cheat codes. It's a perfect time to show it off, too. Crash Bandicoot PlayStation Cheats. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's, uh, which one for Generator Room? Sorry, I'm, I'm just looking through these. So we have one that skips us to Generator Room. That'll work. Skip that. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the Generator Room cheat code. That'll be good for me. We'll just have to redo one level then, instead of uh, all of those. Triangle, triangle. Square, X. Square, X. Circle, circle. Triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Square, triangle, triangle. Square, X. Square, circle, circle. Square, square, circle. All right, cool. 
We'll just have to redo generator room. Whatever. I mean, in that case, we could probably uh, get the bonus round done, and then we could have it saved right here. I'd love that. Sadly, we're stuck down to four lives again, so uh, we're at a high risk of just straight up getting a game over, sadly. I need a save state next time, you know, at least with this one, because, uh, you know, it seems to have a high risk of just crashing, and it's mainly because I unhooked my headphones. I shouldn't have done that, and I regret that already. I made a dumb decision, and, you know, I have to handle the consequences of it. Damn it! I'm rushing it now, because I don't want to do it again. That is not a good strategy, me. You can't do that. Okay, they don't give you the Tana token because of that. I, th I think, like, be because of that, you don't get the Tana token, which eh, makes sense, you know. I kind of expected it to be that way. I mean, what did you all expect, huh? You expect the Muffin Man? I didn't expect the Muffin Man too much, you know. He didn't really offer too much to me. He said, I'll let you play Crash. Sup? Welcome, Proxy Riots. How's it going? Welcome to Crash. Uh, I had to redo a uh, generator room because uh, this emulator crashed on me, but, you know. We're still doing all good. It's just one level, luckily. I had to, um, like, because I didn't save here, I had to, like, put in a cheat code because it brought me back. Oh, deleting a lot of my videos. Why is that? Would you say, um, it's because you don't feel like doing anymore, or is it because you feel like, uh, um, your older stuff isn't, like, up to snuff with, say, how you are, like, quality-wise on videos now? Redoing all my gaming content. Gotcha. So, you f yeah, you feel like you, you could do better, right? I'm of a little bit of a different mindset, like, I, I like to keep all of my older videos just to remember them, you know? Um, like this, right? I did a really shitty Crash series, like, on this one game back in 2015. I'm still gonna keep that up, like, even though this is gonna be on YouTube, because, you know, I still find it to be, um, just a, what do you call it? A memorial thing. It's good, because I can compare, um, my past to my future, and I could say, wow, I've really improved over five years, but whatever works for you, you know? If it works for you and it's easier for you, do what you gotta do, you know? That's what I say. Uh, out of all of your older videos, what would you say was, um, like, out of all of them, what do you think was, like, your least favorite, like, quality-wise? Um, for me, my least favorite would probably be my original Crash playthrough from 2015, because... Like, I used to do a thing when I was, like, younger. This was because I was, like, super young. I, uh, I got lazy, and I basically just went on YouTube for some of the, uh, levels. I was like, eh, you know, I can't do this level. I'm just gonna go on YouTube and look them up now. That's totally gonna help me. And, you know, it wasn't even really a Let's Play, because I just do levels, and if I couldn't do certain levels, i just record it with my camera. All of my gaming content is pretty shit. Uh, what would you say it is? Is it, like, the quality, like, of how it looks, or is it, like, your commentary on it? Like, what part of it do you not like, out of curiosity? I'd say for me, um, with my older stuff, it was a little bit of both. Like, my commentary was kind of dumb. But still kind of funny, like, um... If I didn't do commentary on those videos, I probably wouldn't be re-uploading it. And I'd say, that's the main reason why I'm keeping it. Because it's kind of funny to listen to younger me ramble on about dumb stuff. You know, it's like, eh, I, I wonder if there's going to be a Jack 4. I really hope there's going to be one. Shit, now that I think about it, there's not really much of a difference, is there? Oh no. Okay, oh. It's all bouncy crates now. It's all bouncy from here. Okay. Where did it spawn me back at? This isn't too bad. Oh. 
I, I guess uh, I didn't really lose a life or gain a life, because, you know, I still ended up with 11 at the end. Okay. I don't like these crates one bit. Oh, bonus round. I need it so I can save and not have to go back to that other level. Okay. Get me out of here, please! Ooh! Thank God. <laughs> All of my content has been average. Gotcha. Yeah, overwrite it. Overwrite that fucking gameplay, bro! Ah! I hate it. These bouncing crates are evil. Super duper evil. Don't you throw that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck off. Alright, pinstripe. Probably one of the coolest bosses in the game, in my opinion. A cool cool boss with a nice strategy. I also like his laugh. Was, <laughs> Basically, it's a very creative one, too, because, like, you gotta hide behind the, uh, you know. Oh, okay, not a good idea. You gotta hide behind the little sofas here, and you gotta spin him when he's running to your direction. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a nice little strategy here. You see, this is what I was talking about. Like, in the Insane Trilogy, they still give him his gun, you know? Like, they didn't take it away. Unlike Spyro, who did the opposite. Ew, look at Cortex. He's, like, licking his fist over there. Does that mean Cortex is fisting himself? This is my game theory. I think Cortex is preparing to fist himself. That's why he looks so sensual, you know? He loves himself, so therefore he's gonna try to fist himself if he can. It's fucked up. It's a cruel world, that Cortex man. Uh, it's the high road. <laughs> it's basically road to nowhere, but even worse, because it's got turtles everywhere. It's not because they're turtles. It's mainly because they're bouncy turtles. And not just any bouncy turtles. Bouncy turtles that are hard to kind of manage. Oh, yeah, we're already doing bad. Okay. Okay. I'm going too fast. Even though I'm forced to jump. I'm I'm still going too fast. I gotta I gotta kinda relax with this, you know? Okay. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm stressing out too much. Okay. Ugh. Why does he go so far? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Each... Dude, what is this? Okay, let the stupid hog run past you. Cool. Yeah, there we go. I gotta remember that the hog just kind of stops there, you know? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. I just have a runny nose. Okay. I think we're good now, though. Okay, I gotta let the turtle go as far as it can so that, you know, I can get the most distance here. That's really the only way you can go with it, you know? Okay. And you let it do that, then you just bounce on it. It's as simple as that, you know? Simple as just bouncing on its fucking shell! What? I clipped that? Hey, <laughs> thank you. I don't get very many clips, so I appreciate it. What? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this, dude? I don't get it. There we go, okay. If I stay, like, in the 10 region, I should be good. You know? Which I'm almost out of, which is bad. Okay. Whatever, I don't need a turtle. I could just jump normally. Ooh. You should watch it. I'll have to watch it when, uh, when I get through this game. Well, yeah, I'll give it a watch after the stream. That's what I normally do with clips. Especially if they're snipped and clipped. 
That's how you know it's really epic. Ooh. I am winning. Duh, winning. Oh, pff, duh, not winning. Duh, losing, dude. Okay. I have to be one with the turtle. One. I have to say, turtle, give me your fucking dirty head, you fucker. We're at nine lives, people. This is bad. This is red alert alpha. Okay. Alright. 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 Now I just gotta wait for this turtle to get closer. Ooh! Mm! Crash. You know. You sly dog, you. You sly cooper. I love you, but you're a little bitch. Seven lives, guys. Please. Please, I don't want to redo uh, the toxic one. It's so toxic, dude. Like, you don't even know. Oh, and also Pinstrap. I don't want to have to redo two levels. That's not what I intend! Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. I lose. I lose to a turtle. A ninja turtle at that. Like, that's embarrassing. Okay. See, right when he's there, that's when he got. Whoa. What am I doing? Calm down, me. Calm the fuck down. What are you doing? So he says, I don't know. I'm just trying to jump on a turtle, dude. What do you think I'm doing? Okay. So I kind of got to do it when he's, like, kind of walking closer, you know? Like, right about there. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. We were really close there. I almost lost that. Almost uh, too close for comfort, even. Oh. And right on schedule, the hog comes back to ruin my life. It's always there, just waiting for me, you know? It's like, hey, what's up, Crash? I'm ready to rape you. I'm right here, you know? You want to rape me in the hog wild stage? I'm going to rape you in the road stage. Watch out, bro! I'm going to ram your face! That's what he says to my face, and I say, Ew, that's weird, stop. Oh, all right. I'm gonna wait for the pig to go like back a bit. All right, now we could do it. All right, good. Hog is gone. Or sorry, I said pig. The hog is now out of my face, which is all I wanted ever. Okay. It's a turtle shell. It's Mario. Goes, I'm fucking a Mario, man. Oh. It was worth it. Big risk, but it was worth. Well, I still meant what I said and said what I meant. It was all worth it. Okay. All right. We still got through it pretty well. Um, we're at seven lives. It's not great, especially since we're getting the slippery climb, but. It's okay, you know, it's it's survivable, kinda. I don't know what the deal with this turtle is, but okay. It's really kinda close here. I'm gonna spin that away. That would have been absolutely bad if I did that. Alright. You know, this is one of the times where I really feel like I need a bonus round to just cuddle me, you know? Be there next to me when I'm struggling. I say, bonus round, please hug me. I need help. I am scared of the level that is about to kick my ass. Update. Update my save game. That way I don't have to go back. It's the only way to truly 
be an epic bandicoot is to do that, you know? Okay. Do you think the Ninja Turtles would have approved of this? I don't think so, you know? Because, I mean, it's kind of turtle abuse. I think they would have been like, Dude, that is, like, unradical. Why are you doing that to us, man? You're, like, jumping on our bodies. That's wrong. And Crash would just say, Whoa! Whoa, man! I didn't mean to do that! Alright. Seven lives for Slippery Climb. I was kind of hoping I'd have, like, 30-something, but, you know... Not everything could be perfect. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do okay here, or maybe I'll cry in pain at how difficult this one is. The only two levels I'm scared of is this and the lab. Those are like the only two levels that really fear, make me feel fear, truly. Okay, I'm risking it. I need that life badly. I gotta do it, you know. But luckily, I have cheat codes, you know. That's really the only way to play this anymore, you know? Okay. Let them pop out. Bada bam, bada boom! The music in this is really good. Well, the music in this game in general is really nice, you know? And that could just be my nostalgia talking. Very well it could be just that. Who knows? But I like it. That's all I could say. Okay. Gotta wait for that thing to go by. Oh! Jesus. Almost walked right off of it. I would have not liked that one bit. Of course. Like, who would like that? Not me. That's for sure. Yeah. This is probably harder than the lab. I just remember the lab less fondly than this for some reason. I think it had to do with the fact that my grandpa probably helped me with uh, you know, most of this level and then the lab, I think I probably did that by myself for the most part you know, so that's probably it because like this level was so hard I, I know, like I don't just think, I know for a fact that I just couldn't have done it, you know alright, I'm gonna let that thing pass by but yeah, I know for a fact, like, there was no way three-year-old me could have done this by himself. And it's good I had him, because, you know, if I didn't have him, I wouldn't have been able to finish a lot of these games at a young age. You know, luckily, I'm a better gamer, because, you know, I'm able to do them all by myself now, but back in the day, it was a little different. I actually needed help. Okay. Uh, let's see how many birds that... Okay, so that's two birds. I can do it. It's like killing two birds with one stone, you know? Ah, okay. Fuck. That was super close. Oh! Okay. Give it a second. No, that's not enough time. That's not enough. That checkpoint is like bad. Oh. I'm so excited to do this, guys. You don't even know. Like, I'm mega excited to do this treacherous platform section and scream at the top of my lungs. It's happening. It happened at the boulder level, and, uh,. Most levels since then, so I'm kind of expecting actual screaming to happen here. Okay. Spinny platform, bad. That's all I know. That's all I know, and that's all I live for. Knowing that spin platform is no good! Alright, seven lives. We're back to that. I really would have hoped that we would have had the ten, but whatever. I guess we gotta, you know, take with it what we got, you know? Because, like, it's a shit move. Like, when you restart a saved game, right, they don't give you back any of your lives. They just say, alright, uh, you're gonna restart your game? We'll start you back with, like, four lives. Fuck you. <laughs> like, it's not cool, but they do it anyways, because they, they think they're epic. 
I'll give them a new slash right now. They're not too epic. Although, I, I don't think they expected, you know, people are going to be able to just save the game. Like, normally, because it's a PS1 game. It's very archaic, because I think even uh, Donkey Kong Country didn't have this sort of system, you know? It makes you wonder why Naughty Dog made it like that. I mean, I guess they probably did it to make it harder, of course, you know. That that in itself is pretty obvious, but... Like, you know, on a technical scale, they could have made it just straight-up saving, you know. But they didn't. Luckily, Insane Trilogy made it to where, you know, the bonus rounds aren't for saving. And let me tell you, that's a lot nicer than the way it is here. Because when you get a game over, like, you start back at, like, your last save file. So game over is like really scary to get in this. Uh, luckily though, we do have a save file, or like there's a cheat code that takes me back to Slippery Climb. So if we do like forever die, we'll still be okay in the end, luckily. See, I, like how am I supposed to know when to get that, you know? Like right here. Oh, how'd I do that? All right. I guess I did prove everyone wrong today. I said, "Hey, what a wonderful kind of dying." Ugh. Okay. Oh, that was a lucky one. I can't really tell the patterns. They make it. Uh, they make it a little weird. Okay. Okay, I'll wait for it to pop up. Oh no! I was up there too. Oh boy. All right, I see when I have to do it. All right. Okay. They're a bit faster than the ones in the temple level, you know. So I gotta, I kind of gotta be speedy. Like you gotta be patient, but you also gotta be speedy. That's the big challenge with this kind of level, you know. Alright, checkpoint. Hell yeah. Hells to the yeah, dude! That's all I truly wanted. It's a lovely, beautiful, sexy checkpoint. Uh, Alright, we got it. We're doing good here, so far. Ooh. All right. Oh no. Yeah, it's one of the lava system people. I wonder how they were able to get up here. You know, like, this is pretty high up. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they have like an elevator that Crash doesn't have. You know, that's a pretty big possibility, in my opinion. Thank God there's no Stormy Ascent in this one, though. Like I probably could never do that. <laughs> Crash, how lovely to see you as I fucking die constantly. So beautiful. Your face is orange. You have blue pants. And I die constantly. But I will win. It takes time, but I shall be victorious, you fucking bandicoot. You casting over you. Oh, all right. This is where I died last time, I believe. Yep. See, yep, it was right here, wasn't it? I bet it was. All right. Why do you do this to me, Crash? Why do you make me have anxiety? Oh, we already did the Tano. Okay. Okay, good. Oh well, yeah, did we? Yeah, we did. I think. Unless I'm misremembering. I can't, I can't tell. We'll probably find out eventually, right? Okay, uh... Okay, I, I don't really know what to do here, but we'll see! Oh, we got a Brio bonus round. That's new. I, I guess we could try this. I, I don't think I'm going to do too good at it, though, but I'll try it. Oh, alright, whatever. At least we got an extra checkpoint. I'm cool with that. Or oh, unless we didn't get one. Whatever. 
I didn't lose a life from it, so... Oh, okay, yeah, it did give me a checkpoint. Alright, epic. I'm happy I got the Brio tokens then, as much as I don't really care about them, because they don't, they don't save your game, I believe. Like, uh, I know Cortex gives you the keys, and Tana definitely saves your game. I don't know about uh, the Brios, though. I don't remember if the Brio is just another way to save, or, or really what it is, to be honest. I, I think it probably just gives you, like, a gem or something. Maybe that's what the... Really? You're gonna do that to me? Me? Devin the Retro Gamer? The Epic Streamer? Really gonna make me die at the worst possible point? You dumb fucker. Alright. I gotta let the, uh... There we go, okay. Alright. Alright. You've had your fun. Oh, we're at the end. Nice. I conquered one of the hardest levels in the game. Yes! Fuck you. Uh, fuck. Slippery climb. That's my final statement of this level before we move on to, uh, lights out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought Jaws of Darkness was next, but I almost forgot about this kind of poop level too. How could I forget such a lovely level? That's completely dark, unless you have an Aku Aku mask. That's kind of the thing about it. It's almost um, a precursor to the, like the Firefly levels, where you know you have to use them for night lights. Instead, in this, it's a uh, Aku Aku who's the light and not like a Firefly, which you know kind of kind of is harder. It's it's harder because like the mask is your light, you know, and not like a Firefly that's following you. So if you get hit, like you lose your light, like you're done for. It's over. It's over and you lose. And also, like, you're kind of timed. Like, you have to kind of get at a certain point or else, you know, you're dead. And not, like, dead, but, like, you just can't see anything. So you're basically dead at that point. Oh, they look really freaky in the dark. With light, they just look like normal rats. Okay. Yeah, I was honestly expecting this to be much more difficult, you know? I think I was thinking in my uh, old 2015 Devon mindset where, you know, I just think everything is hard, you know? And I do remember this game being a pain in the ass for years, but... And it still kind of is, but it's a lot less than it was, for sure, you know? And I think my uh, childhood trauma of this game was greatly exaggerated, and I think I was just a noob. Ignore that death, by the way, as I say that. Uh, that doesn't count. I'm still epic at this game, okay? So nobody say anything, okay? Please, please don't say mean words. I beg of you. Alright. We're jumping schmupping through it. Okay, I'll wait for the uh, floating thing to come by. Uh, we're losing a lot of time, but that's okay. It's fine. We can manage. No! We're in the dark now! Fuck. Okay. Wait. I can kind of still see what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. At least I know we were super close to the end, though. That gives me some kind of hope, at least. Some. Not, not a lot, but there is still some hope left in me that I could easily beat this. Yeah. How'd I fall off? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Okay. I think I'm gonna go use the analog stick. Now the D-pad was kinda kinda fidgeting out there. Don't know what that was, but I'll just ignore that, you know, everything's fine. I'm still awesome. No! This game, dude. It's really testing my patience. Like, they make you wait. No. Okay, I'm getting angry. I gotta calm down. I gotta be cool. Okay, gotta wait for it. Even though it takes forever. And then your mask is gonna run out super quick. Oh no. Shit. I'm gonna fucking, fucking die, dude. This isn't good. Okay. 
We're doing all right now. Kinda. Okay. I'll wait for the uh, platform to come back. Cause I need to get as much time with the mask as I possibly can before I lose it. You know? Well, not before I lose the mask, but before I lose the light. Yeah. That's how I should have said it. Also, we're close to the end. See, look, it's right there. Right in front of my eyes. All right. We were able to clutch it in the end, at least. Because the light, like, just went out as I got there, so... That was close. Thank God I did it, though. We're gonna do this today. Like, we are doing this. It's absolutely possible. As you all can tell. Like, I think there's only, like, a few more levels left. Like, we got this. I think Castle Machineries after this. Then Embryo. And then, after Embryo, that's when the lab level comes. Which is the final level. The level before Cortex is easy peasy it's super big cakewalk unless you're wanting to percent in the game then you're jumping on a bunch of gems but aside from that like we're super duper close to finishing this and the fact that i was able to do it all in one stream makes me happy you know i never thought i could do it but uh look at me now mother and father as i jump off of a cliff i know i make everybody so proud okay just gotta do it to it, you know? That's how you gotta do it. Uh, alright. Just gotta jump and hope they don't fall this time. Alright, good. Full mask right here, too. Okay, alright. I'm not using the D-pad. The D-pad's, like, actually fucking me over. I keep, like, walking off. I think maybe it's because I've been using it so much. Now it's kind of, like, wearing a little. Okay. Alright. It's a lot better with the analog stick, but it does feel a little bit floaty. Which, in a way, is kind of slightly better. Slightly, though. Not super much. Oh. Alright, I'm going to wait for this platform to go down, and then we'll do the jump. Alright, perfect timing. That was the best time to jump. No other time would have been better. There's, there's like, there's just no better way of doing it, you know? Okay. So now we're kind of walking back. It's almost like uh, one of the boulder levels or something, the way they made it. Alright, cool. Not cool. Get away from me, fire. Stinky fire! Get out of my fa- Uh, don't blow me up, fire, please. Please, be nice to me, okay? Behave. Uh, okay. That was a little bit of a toughie to figure out. Alright, at least I kind of know when they fall at, so... I, I kind of sort of know the point to jump at this time. Uh, alright. So I kind of want to get on there around that point. Then around there, and then around there, and I did it! Whoa! Uh, oh, there's a spider. Ooh. That was a lot of bats. I'm gonna let the bats go through before I do anything. It's the only safe way to play. Ah! Motherfucker! Really? Fuck you, bat. Uh, spider. Oh, fuck you, bats, too, for not, like, showing up at all. I waited forever, and I just decided, eh, I'm just gonna walk it, but... That was not a smart idea, because that ended up just killing me anyways. I'll let the platform pop up, and then I'll do it. Then I'll do the jump. You gotta whomp, and then you gotta jump. This is how it always works. Alright, let the bats go through. And then you do it. Alright. Cool. And I got saved by a checkpoint. As long as I don't somehow get a game over by being really stupid here. 
Like I like I almost was about to do. I just jumped there. Not good. You can't do that. You just can't do that. With the kind of power that you have. You wield too much power and you must not. Okay. So we got three lives. That's not good. That's like very low amount, so Ooh boy. We're close enough, so you know, I can always just do the all level cheats if I, you know, I do really bad or something. I'll be okay. You showed up right in front of me! No, not, no, 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 no. I have to play calmly. Calmly. That's what's failing me. I'm rushing. I'm going too fast. I'm Russian. Help me. I am Soviet Russian, please. I cannot get through Crash Bandicoot. Alright. Oh! I don't think there's any other Tana that close. Alright, there might be one a little bit up ahead, but I don't know. It's a very small chance. Alright, at least I could save here. Uh, so if I, like, get a game over, I don't have to, like, use the all-level cheats or some junk like that. I could just straight-up redo this level anyways. That works for me, you know. Oh, I guess I can't. <laughs> Never mind. It's like a smile. I was happy, and then my face went to frown because of how shitty that was. Okay. Okay. We still managed to pull it off, though. We pulled it off by the skin of our teeth. And now, um, we have a not too hard of a level, to be honest. Castle Machinery. This, ooh. Ew, I have snot on my... Ooh, ew, hold on. Wait. What? No, I'm not cheating it. Actually, I'm gonna cheat it for lives, and then we're actually gonna go do the level, okay? Listen, I'm a fucking sheepskate, okay? I never denied that, uh, but we're actually going to go through the level, because that area was going to let us cheat it. No, we're going to play it. How'd I get that gem, huh? How did I do it? Oh, yeah, because I made it, like, I did the cheat code, probably. Whatever. We got 28 lives now, so we're, we're basically back to where we were before, almost. Like, and not back to where we were before, like, uh, like, you know, 7 or 8. I mean, like, back to almost 30, which was, uh... Where I was hoping to stay. Luckily now, we're like getting through the game with a very good percentage rate. All thanks to that one secret section that, um, I guess the cheat code gave me a gem for in the end. I'll admit it, I cheated. I'm a man to admit that. Love the music here. And, like, these levels are probably, like, my favorite levels in the, uh, Third Island. I just like the, uh, like the kind of industrial, techie feel that it has. It's really cool looking. Okay. We're going through it. No! Why? Oh, I forgot. I have, like, 28 lives. See, I was expecting, like, to have the one. I forgot that I was... I did really good by accident. So I was like, oh, no. I'm gonna get a game over, dude. I wasn't ready for this hellhole. Whoa! You know, I was serious when I pulled off a crash woe. Like, it was so serious that I was blurious. Okay. Alright. 
I jumped up. I jumped. And I did more jumps. These are scary jumps. NGL, not gonna lie, these are scary. It's not like I need them, but thanks for the life game, I really appreciate it. And the mask. I really add some epicness to it. Whoa! It angers me to no extent, or no avail, whatever, whatever the phrase is when they say that. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way, what am I doing? Stupid, stupid, stupid Devin. No, you go to the right, not the left. No platformer goes to the left unless it's uh, Crash Bandicoot. And that, wait, yeah, there was that one section in Castle Machinery where I did move to the left. That is true. But I mean, for the most part, you know, most platformers, you usually go to the right and not the left. But I suppose this one shocked the world to say, eh, fuck it, you know, who cares? <laughs> Shit nuggets. It's really testing my patience, having to constantly do this constantly. It's those pipes, you know, the pattern, it's unbeatable. I gotta like, um, keep my mask for that like last pipe section because I can't, whoa, why? Oh, you jump too far, right? even though the, uh, the angle that you're jumping at is stupid. You jump too far. Yeah, all right. No, I just gotta be relaxed. Gotta go with the flow of the bandicoot. See? I am calmly jumping forward. I calmly jump towards the platform. <laughs> yes, that, that was very calm. I was able to pull off the awesome calmness of that. Look how calm I am when I'm doing this. So calm. So serene, so peaceful at crash. Whatever, I don't care. Just get me through that. Me no care anymore. Me just want to beat game. I like the sounds that they make. It sounds really, uh, I don't know, it sounds really cool and futuristic. Like, when they move, it's like, I like it. Uh, not a good example the way I said that, but, yeah, you know, it, it's good. That's all I gotta say. It's good. Don't question it. Oh. Oh, ha that didn't get me. Okay. I was not expecting that at all. Like, at all, I wasn't. Uh, where's the checkpoint? I'm kind of looking for that, you know? Kind of hoping it's close by. I'm sure we'll... Oh, yep, there it is. See, I was waiting for it, and it came towards me. I just had to believe. I had to click my bandicoot shoes together and believe that it truly happened. Should I do this? No. Nah. No, oh, that doesn't matter anyways, because I still failed there. Oh, well. Listen. You gotta look at failure like, you know, you failed there, but you gotta learn from it, you know? Now I can be epicer, because now I know how to do it. Ooh. Some of these platforms I'll never understand how I was able to just straight up make it to them, you know? Uh, oh. What? I phased through those! That didn't make any sense, did you guys see that? I straight up phased through them, that... No, I can't accept that. That is absolutely unacceptable. In any way, shape, or form, it's completely unacceptable. I say through the top of my lungs that it is. That's fine. We weren't too far back anyways. 
we were pretty close. Okay, I'm just gonna let it go fully down this time, because that's where I messed up, I think. We gotta be close to finishing this, right? Mm. You can really hear the anger, you know? You can really hear it. Just in my vocal cords as I scream at it. The top of my lungs. Okay, okay, we're doing it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I might be a little bit quiet because now I'm, I'm super duper focused on like getting through this now, you know? It's now my top priority to do it. <laughs> I, it was gone! The time I did that! It was done doing the stupid thing! Like, it was done doing it! I swear! What?! That's stupid! I don't care what anybody says, that was bullshit. Absolute dog shit. If I've ever stepped on one with my shoes! See, now I'm getting so mad that I'm failing! I'm failing at the simple parts, because I'm sick of fucking redoing them. I'd rather the checkpoints not be bad. Yeah, I'd rather that. I'd rather not do these stupid pipe puzzles or whatever they are. I like I can't like they're hard. You know? You gotta wait for the super precise second when it very ends, you know? And I can't do it. It's too hard. I I probably am gonna eventually be able to do it once I, you know, figure it out, but like still it's it really is a pain in the ass just to figure out, honestly. Honest to God it is. Alright. Watch. It's gonna stop, right? You ready? Okay, wait. Oh. Okay, I did it. That was good. So far. So far, so good! Was that the end? Oh my god. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Good level overall, but near the end it really got shit with those uh, pipe puzzles. That's like the only thing I could think of. Uh, like the little pipes that shoot out the air. Oh, Nitrous Brio. This guy's a pretty cool boss. I'm not gonna spoil what he does because I know I've been spoiling a lot of things, but this one, you guys gotta see what he does for yourselves if you haven't played Crash. I'm pretty sure most people who watch this are like have probably already played Crash, so I don't think I need to say anything anyways. Everybody already knows how Crash is. Also, this boss has, like, more health than any of them. Even Cortex has less health than this guy. It's true. You could look up their health. It's pretty low for, Well, it's pretty high for this guy compared to the other ones. Okay. Ah! Dude, Why? He's gonna do it! Oh, okay, nope, he's gonna throw the, the red ones at me. I forgot he still did that. I, I was not prepared for that at all. Not one bit. Alright, throw him out. I'm ready. This time I am. This time I was prepared for your filthy attacks, dude. He's gonna do it one more time. That way I could be prepared to finish him off, finally. Oop. Oop. Okay. Alright. Now I just gotta avoid all of these, and then I should be good to go, because this last phase is cool looking, but it's simply easy. Watch this. And that was really cool that they were able to do that on a PS1. Especially for, uh, what was, I think, like, this came out in 1996, so this would have been, uh, like a year after the PS1 came out in America. Uh, I think it came out in Japan in 94, though. 
but 95 uh, internationally from what I from what I remember all right everybody this is the last major level uh, we're actually gonna do it like actually you know there's no doubts here you know even if I do really bad here I'm still gonna make it through okay I'll let I'll let them do their thing um, I'll let them sexually touch the electrodes together yeah this level's easy oh I shouldn't say that but it feels easy so far I'll let them do that. Just gotta kind of prepare when they start doing it, you know? That's the only way to do it. Whatever. It's fine. I'm epic. I just gotta rush through it. I gotta completely ignore my actual strategy and just do that. That's how it works here. Listen, I live on the edge. I don't need a strategy. Who the fuck needs that? Only lamos need strategy. In Devonland, strategy is for the weak. Ooh. Okay. I know one of these is like a bomb. Yep. See, I, I knew that. I've been playing this for too long to not know that. Okay, I'll let this thing go down and then we'll we'll spin it again. I don't want the door to kill me or something. I'm pretty sure that's a thing it can do, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Who knows? Only only Jew knows. All right, I can't fail this one. Like this is the last big save point I have here, and luckily this save point is actually. Probably one of the easiest, honestly. All you had to do was make a couple of tough jumps and then bada boom, bada bang, you did it. Crash, boom, bang, I won. All right, so if we, yeah. All right, well, if we do get a game over, we'll, we can restart this and then we can make it to the Cortex without doing the all levels cheat. Simple as that. Easy sort of stuff. Stuff I can just get done simply. Alright. Like, that was pretty easy, too. Easy! It's too easy! My childhood lied to me! I expected super difficult level, not mildly difficult level, that sometimes makes me die. Not complaining, but I really was expecting more. Spin live spin live spin. Alright. Oh I wasn't ready for that. It's it's kinda like too much was going on, so I got I got a little bit stressed there. It's like uh, uh what do I do? How do I do this? I don't understand. Okay. But now we're good. At least I hope so. Okay, good. Good! We're making it through, everybody. We can do this. As long as this is, as much time as it takes, we're gonna do it, you know? It's simple! As a dimple. Until it's not, and you know, until I... Until it's not simple and I just keep dying, you know? That's okay, it's fine! It's fine, dude! I can do it, eventually! Alright, whatever. Whatever, we caught back up for the most part. Ooh. Okay. Just gotta not... Fuck. No, it's fine, it's fine! No rage needed! It's easy, like I said! Easy peasy! No need to stress yourself! <laughs> like I'm doing right now! Easy peasy, come on, Devin! Stop being stink at the game. It's easy peasy, okay? Lemon squeezy. What? Excuse me? No! No! Okay. Okay. 
So you're not responding. You don't want to work. Too much of an issue to work. I get it. I get it. You don't care. I was right at the end, too. You know, I was right at the fucking end. Well, no, fuck you, huh? That's, a, that's what this dumb emulator says. This, eh, he wants to work? No, fuck you. We're just going to crash like three fucking times in one stream. Three times. This happened three times, guys. Like, what? How does that happen? All right. This, this stream sucks. Uh, this is like the third crash. No, yeah, it's like the third crash already. It's happened three different fucking times. How? How does it happen three times? This is a bad emulator. Cheat code. Cheat code. All level cheat code. Alright. That's fine. Just losing hope more and more. The more I realize that this is just bad, you know? Alright, let's uh, see what all the cheats we got. Oh, we got, there's a lab cheat code, so I can just go right there. Unless I saved. Did I get all the Tanas? Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. No need. I saved. Saved my ass, that's for sure. But, <laughs> we have four lives, uh, so. Uh, yeah, no fucking around now. Now this is, uh, now it's not easy at all, actually. You know, now all I can really hope for is that it just doesn't, you know, fuck up near the end. Really? No! That is stupid! That is bullshit! This game's not that stupid. They know that that's fucking bullshit. I spin the thing. It doesn't... It's not that short of a time to do it. Like, it's supposed to be simple. It's because of that dumb fucking gelatin thing. It's that stupid yellow thing. We never had any problems if it just didn't fucking do that. But no. No, my game had to crash. It had to crash Bandicoot. Because RetroArch is a shitty emulator. Don't play it. I changed my mind. It decides to crash like every 20, 10 minutes or whatever. I don't care if it has controller support. If this is like an actual problem that just happens all the time, I can't recommend it. And I'm sorry I did, because I realize it's not good. I don't recommend it to anybody. Sorry to say, but not a good investment. Too much crashes. Like it's been three hours and it's already like crashing three times. Spawn me back! Spawn me back very far away! Cool! That's really epic of you, game! Really making it easier for me! Really doing great, pal! Buddy old pal Crash! Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright. This level's too long. It's too long! I cannot handle it. I'm I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to be quiet, everybody. I'm going to shut up. Cause like, I'm just so mad at this game right now. Mostly the emulator. So, you know, just gonna be quiet and I'm just gonna focus on finishing the level and hopefully with that, finishing the game too. That'd be pretty cool. I know it's like literally impossible, but that'd be pretty cool if I could actually do it, you know? It'd be really cool. What's next, huh? Oh, this. Ooh. His name is Crash. 
Crash Bandicoot. He's a little fucking piece of shit. Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Don't expect Crash 2 and Crash 3 anytime soon. Just gonna say that right now. Unless this emulator gets its shit together, I'm not doing it. Like, for real. This is dumb. This is bullshit. I could have been, like, easily through the game if it didn't just fucking crash like that. It didn't need to do that! Last life, everybody! If I die, that's it! I know we're close to the end, but I guess it doesn't really matter, because all these emulators don't work, you know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hey, you! Faggot! Get the fuck out of here! I'll, I'll, I better be careful. The door can kill me, you know? I don't want that to happen. You know, the fucking door to kill me. That's, that'd be a tr real tragedy, you know? The door k kills you. I can't get over that. Continue. I continue <laughs> on the lab. Lab. Pretty cool level, you know. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty easy peasy, as I said before. Or at least it was when I had like 30 lives. Well, you know, can't ever I have that, right? Too much of a too much of a challenge. Too much. Too much. Too much for the game, you know? Too much. I might just do the Insane Trilogy again. Fuck this game. Fuck it, dude. I'm gonna be quiet from now on, because I think my raging is what's getting me out. So, you know, I'm gonna be quiet for, like, Probably the next 10 minutes, because I've been spending so much time on this. I'm just so frustrated. I still really feel like I'm gonna lose, but I have slightly more hope now. Slightly. Never mind. Not gonna say anything. Not gonna. Not not gonna say anything. 
It's fine. We're all good. It's fine. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna save state right here. I don't care. Save state. Fuck you. There we go. Boom. And guess what? Load state. If this game wants to cheat and make me die, I'll cheat even extra. That's what I'll do. I'll make my own checkpoints. Called safe states. They seem to work better than, you know, the actual ones. Uh, safe state. Safe state. I'm safe stating this too. Safe state. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Okay. At least I got extra lives, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna save state it here, because I know how this game works, you know? It's not even the game, I'm just mad at like <laughs> the fucking emulator. It's not the game, everybody. It's the emulator. It's the emulator. I promise. I do that how did I not know something so great well we did it the cheapest way possible but at least we did it that's all I care about and now I'm gonna do the big thing I should do and <laughs> I'm gonna save state it right here right as we finish that level so I don't have to do it again I hope uh, oh See, I, they, I thought it was going to crash again. I was so expecting that, but cool that it didn't. Really epic of you. Okay, I don't need them. I don't have enough. Just take me to Cortex, bastard. Let's finish this up. I don't know if I'm going to do two or three. If I do, I'm probably going to have to do it on the EPSXE, because that probably runs better, but even that probably doesn't run good enough before it crashes. I'm good now, though. No more safe states. I, I just needed to do that right there because of that. Just, just how stupid that was. Like, it crashed. It cheated me out of winning. If it didn't crash, I would have done really good. You know? So at least, at least I kind of get that feeling, you know? You know what? We're ending it off well. You know, we're finishing off Cortex here. I think that's really the true way to do it. Now, this boss happens to be a bit easier than uh, most bosses, really. Maybe aside from Papu Papu, you know. Aside from Papu Papu, he's pretty easy, you know. You just gotta avoid all his little lasers and then shoot the green thing at him, you know. Quite simple. Nothing more, nothing less to it. And it's not me talking about the lab saying it's easy, even though it really could have been. Alright, but we did it. It took me like three hours, almost, but we did it, so I'm pretty happy. I'm proud of it. And look, Crash got his girl back. Good job, my dude. I'm so proud of you. He's so happy. He's like, yeah, I fucking won, bro. <laughs> now I got the girl, dude. That was so epic. 
That was Crash. Yep, Crash Bandicoot. Dot dot dot. Created and developed by Naughty Dog, Andy Gavin, Jason Rubin. All those names, yeah. That was fun. I like to thank the Academy. Oh. I guess we'll let it finish the credits. I'll give my opinion on the game. It's a good game. Just the emulator made me pissed off more than I could have been. Like, seriously, I had like, what, almost 20 la lives at that lab level? If it didn't crash at that point, it really would have turned turned out like a lot better. And I'm sorry it didn't. I'm, I'm going to have to not use this emulator, at least for recording. For regular playing purposes, it's, it's a nice emulator, but for uh, streaming... Even though I think P EPSXE kind of has this issue too, it just it just crashes for no reason. I don't know if like maybe it's overloading the system the way I'm playing it, but I just don't get it. Anyways, that is gonna be it for the stream. Thank you guys for watching my long playthrough of Crash Bandicoot. I hope you guys enjoyed and have yourself a good one. I'm out.